Good morning and thank you for joining us. Too often across our nation we've seen reproductive health care become weaponized. The repealing of Roe v. Wade and its impact of that decision will vary from state to state. Here in Maryland, we're fortunate to live in a place that has long safeguarded a woman's access to abortion care. In 1992, Maryland voters overwhelmingly supported a referendum that made abortion a constitutional right. This upheld the notion that women would continue to have a choice over their reproductive health care. I will continue to unequivocally support the right for women to use their own voices and make their own choices for their reproductive health care and family planning needs. Women often seek abortion care because they lack access to consistent and effective birth control options. A combination of data from the Centers of Disease Control and the Guttmacher Institute reveal that nationwide, roughly 45% of pregnancies are unplanned. Here, in the state of Maryland, that rate is even higher, between 56 and 60% of those pregnancies are unplanned, and the highest rate are among women between the ages of 20 and 24. Unplanned pregnancies can disrupt educational attainment and stifle economic mobility, which can result in long-term adverse life outcomes for mothers, babies, families, neighborhoods, and generations. We can reduce the need for women to seek abortion services by thoughtfully expanding access to comprehensive family planning services and effective contraception methods, which is why today, I'm excited to announce that we will provide $1 million over the next three years for a pilot program to increase reproductive health care services here at Howard Community College. <laughs> this pilot program will prioritize preventative reproductive care for women and increase health care services for all. Expanding this long-standing partnership between the Howard County Health Department and the Community College's Wellness Center is a critical step in advancing the wide spectrum of health care services here in Howard County. Currently, our health department serves only two clinics a month, and demand is higher for pregnancy testing, STI testing, vaccines, and limited birth control. Under our new expanded program. Services will grow to include telemedicine, a full complement of contraception, including IUDs, opportunities for well woman visits, STI treatment options, PrEP and HIV prevention, and a dedicated exam room, and much more. Additionally, we have committed to hiring a full-time registered nurse, a full-time social worker, a part-time counselor to provide navigation of services and options and counseling for our students seeking a range of healthcare services that may not be offered at the wellness center or the health department. This partnership of enhanced services will ensure more students will be served on a consistent basis with the goal of year-around care. This phased expansion will help make HCC an even safer place to access a full spectrum of care, ultimately increasing access to services and utilizing evidence-based family planning strategies will help reduce the rate of unplanned pregnancies. Now, Regardless of the actions at the federal level here in Howard County, we will continue to protect women and work to remove barriers of access to care. We will work closely with compassionate leaders like our health department, our community college, our state's attorney's office, and more to ensure that we oppose efforts to restrict legal access to abortion care. In Howard County, we will be, women will be supported and will be protected in their right to make the best choices for themselves and their families. Thank you. 
Thank you, Dr. Ball, Dr. Russo, our elected officials, and everyone who worked to bring this wonderful, wonderful program to reality into Howard Community College. Thank you for believing in our students and for recognizing that higher education must be accessible to all students. Students who face barriers to health care, students who face barriers to their own education. If they are worried about where to find reproductive services and cannot afford a doctor, they will struggle in college and they may drop out. With your generous support and funding, we can and we will do better. How do I know? Because it's my own lived experience. My father died when I was young. He died from HIV. So my mother raised my brother and me on her own. When it was time for college, luckily I received a scholarship. But I was a first generation student to college and I didn't know how to navigate college or how to study. My grades dropped, I lost my scholarship, and then I became pregnant. But my mother said one thing to me that still sticks with me to this day, that no matter what, I needed to finish school. But I was always just two steps away from having to leave college. Every day when I walked across campus, I was invisible and ignored. And being visible, invisible and ignored, six, seven, and eight months pregnant in the hot sun is pretty difficult to achieve, but it happened. No one saw or truly helped me. There was no wellness center on campus. There were a couple offices that had condoms, but nothing and no place for me to go to as a pregnant woman. I had to travel to the nearest health department to get the essential care that I needed because I was on women, infants, and children, or what we call WIC today, and even Medicaid. But this funding will prevent our students from HCC having to go through what I did when I was in college. They will have the resources they need for their total health and wellness right here on campus. And what drives me each and every day when I get up in the morning is to ensure that it never happens at HCC, the experience that I had. I want every student to be seen. And when they're seen, there will always be someone there and the resources available to support them. I am so proud that Howard Community College will partner with the Howard County Health Department to expand reproductive health services and provide our students with care that they need the most. And I'll be remiss if I didn't shout out Tara Rupp, who you will hear from later, for really championing this cause at HCC. She runs our health department. I met her early on in my tenure here, and she said we need these services, and look at where we are today. So thank you, Tara for your wonderful advocacy for our students. And finally, your investment in Howard Community College students shows that they are indeed valued. They are seen and that Howard County cares. Thank you so very much for this support. The Howard County Health Department and Howard Community College have been partners for many years from our COVID vaccination clinics to our sexual and reproductive health services at HCC's Wellness Center. We have both contributed to the health and wellness of those in our community together. Providing access to sexual and reproductive services for all, regardless of sexual or gender identity or ability to pay, is one of the core principles that addresses social determinants of health. Our past partnership has shown a demand for increased services, resulting in this pilot expansion of services at HCC. The pilot expansion will be implemented in a three-pronged, phased-in approach. The first phase began Monday, September 19th. The health department will start out being at HCC twice a month, now on Mondays rather than Thursdays, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. This past Monday confirmed that we had made the right decision to change the clinic day, as we saw more students in that first clinic than we had in a month 
during the spring semester. Currently, the health department provides the following services at the Wellness Center. Pregnancy testing and counseling, select contraception, sexually transmitted infection testing and screening, and vaccinations against HPV, flu, and COVID. Later this fall, we will add telemedicine visits. This will provide an opportunity for students to meet virtually with a physician or nurse practitioner about STI results and treatment, HIV pre-exposure prophylaxis, also known as PrEP, and initiating or changing birth control methods. In January and early spring, we will implement the final and largest phase, which will happen as a result of the new funding provided by the county. At that time, HCC will become a federal Title X satellite clinic under the umbrella of the health department. Title X is the federal government's program dedicated to providing individuals with comprehensive reproductive and related preventive care. In addition to a full-time nurse, the clinic will be staffed with a health department clinician who will provide well woman visits, including gynecologic and breast exam, and access to the full spectrum of contraception including long-acting reversible contraception. We look forward to bringing this pilot expansion program to Howard Community College's Wellness Center. The students at HCC, here we are, will have access to a broader range of sexual and reproductive health services, creating a healthier community and empowering them to take full advantage of their educational and economic opportunities. Thank you. It's so exciting to be a part of not only this experience, but this institution as it takes its next step towards greatness. When college comes to mind for most people, their only thought is a degree. The mental, emotional, and physical well-being of the individuals that make the school is neglected too often. Here at Howard Community College, that student ID is more than just seven little digits. Yes, I had to go back and count. It's a key that opens doors to resources that surpass the textbooks. We have access to counseling, computer rentals, a food pantry, and now, thanks to the county, full-time nurses for sexual and reproductive health. As my sister, Bayan Ansari, who works in the Wellness Center, has said, HCC's Wellness Center is a toolbox for the students. Within that toolbox are free elements that collegians can access and utilize for different needs. My sister mentioned to me how heartbreaking it was for her to turn students away because they couldn't cater to their health demands that went past free feminine products and twice a month STI and pregnancy testing. But today, that's changing for the better. We're more than just a college. We're a community college, and communities take care of each other. We're a community that has members of various ages, identities, races, and lifestyles, so it's extremely important that we can have something on campus for every student, whether that be resources for food insecurity, mental health counseling, sexual and reproductive health, or simply clubs and activities. In addition, an advancement like this takes the education provided at HCC beyond the classroom. It helps with keeping our community informed on the realness and significance of reproductive health. As a student myself who struggles financially, being granted access to this free toolbox reminds me that I'm not just a student. I'm a human, and my struggles deserve to be recognized. It's deeper than just the degree. What we're celebrating today as well as all of HCC's other devices is exactly what the members of this establishment need to feel comforted through their experiences and confident in the fact that they can get there from here. Thank you. I am uh, so proud and honored to be here. Um, I wanna thank the county executive um, for this opportunity to expand what the Wellness Center and the Howard County Health Department has built um, 
over 10 years. Um, with this new expansion of reproductive health and sexual health services, I will no longer have to turn students away who got the wrong date, um, who showed up one hour after the clinic ended. Um, they won't have to wait two weeks in between clinics. Um, we have a saying here at the college that says, we're gonna meet students where they are. So when a student comes into my office after the weekend and says that they had unprotected sex, we're not gonna have to sit down and navigate the bus um, routes to the health department, or I'm not gonna have to ask them um, if they have enough money to go to the closest pharmacy to get the products that they want or um, that the um, services that they need. We're gonna be able to do that right here at the Wellness Center. And that's a huge uh, weight lifted. Um, I know that's gonna be a huge relief for students who lack transportation, lack health insurance, and don't have enough money. Having um, these services uh, added times, having the um, nurses here, having the counselor here, we really are gonna truly be able to meet students where they're at. We're gonna be able to break down barriers and allow students to not only focus on their academics, but truly they're gonna be able to focus on personal growth and development and their well-being. So I know I speak for the Wellness Center staff and probably my colleagues at the Health Department. This is everything that we've been talking about. Um, so I am so grateful for our students and I'm so happy to be a part of it. So again, thank you so much. Good morning. I fully understand how deeply personal and complicated the issue of reproductive rights are. I have a deep appreciation of Roe v. Wade and Planned Parenthood v. Casey, the legal precedent that has been guiding our nation and our understanding of the law and cultural norms related to reproductive rights for almost the last 50 years. While I do not agree with the Dobbs decision personally, I respect the authority of the Supreme Court and understand that the Dobbs decision has made clear that reproductive rights and freedoms are not the law of this land, but are rather to be determined at the state level. As state's attorney, there are times when other jurisdictions request that we use our power and authority to assist them in apprehending individuals who have violated the laws of that foreign jurisdiction, that foreign state. We will not criminalize medical decisions and we will, or we will not criminalize personal medical decisions and we will take no action that will impede a person's ability to pursue reproductive options that they, in their personal belief, and assessment deem necessary. Under Maryland state law, access to reproductive rights is protected and we are committed to upholding that law. Thank you.